Hey, what's up, guys? I got a really sick video for you here today. So, I max boosted, because I'm like, fuck it. I'll give it one try, because, you know, fuck, I'll just give it one run, see if I can get a solo with rank 3-6 Dragon, because not many people have him, so I'm like, fuck it, I'll try it, whatever. And, uh, first run, I messed up, but I realized an extra time of the boost, so I'm like, okay, I'll just go for a second run. And, this was a very very clutch um when you'll see at one point and this first fate and also this is my second try doing this for like the one shot because like the first six times i did it for exploration i wasn't like really going for one shot I was still like learning the fight and i wasn't like really like bringing in the right characters so i was kind of just like trying to just get it done as fast as possible so this is like my second actual one shot attempt and um i hate this first phase i hate it so much because I don't really go for the intercepts just because I feel like whenever I do, he, this guy for some reason decides he's going to go full passive mode and I always just get punished. So I'm like, Aegon hits hard enough where it's like, you only need two wounded states and you're good. And um, I am max boosted, so if you don't want to count that as a one shot, I mean, you don't have to, I guess. But I mean, I went into the fight, he had full HP and he died within zero, um, one try, so still a one shot. Um, Time-wise, you might not be able to classify it with um, normal runs with no boost because, you know, I'm boosted. But I honestly don't think the boost makes that much of a difference considering you get, like, what, like, 30% attack. And then but all the um, uh, competence tokens will give you, like, 200% for each one or whatever the number is. Some crazy number like that. So I don't know if that, like, really affects it. But And I did do the math. I, um, I, I think I would have had enough health for this fight e um, even if I wasn't boosted. Like, even if you took off the boost. But, yeah, so I did tweet at Legacy that this was going to be a crazy fast run, but he was like, oh, he didn't use boost, and I was like, eh, fair enough. <laughs> but I still want to upload this just because you're going to see the most clutch play soon. I don't know when it's coming up. It's not It's not soon, actually, yet, but it's towards the end of this phase, oh, it's right here, I pushed him to special two only because I had two tokens, and I'm like, I'm too close to the wall. And, oh yeah, I also got him wounded, but I love Aegon for this fight, just because look at his damage numbers. Each hit's doing like 200,000, the mediums are doing like 300,000, it's disgusting. But I didn't want to be close to this wall when he threw the special one, so I just was like, fuck it, I'll push him to the special too. Um, yeah, but look, him, I think Aegon is the best character. He, like, I think he genuinely just is the best character, because... This phase, the 80 to like 30% phase, you can do it in two wounded states. Like, it's so overkill. Right here, I get slapped, which is kind of tragic. And um, uh, one thing I realized is, the, I think, oh, right there, I think you saw it. I refreshed my Furies when it hit me. And I think it's kind of the same interaction as what, if Lagazzi put out a tweet, and he got hit with Nick Fury, and it went to his second life, even though you're not supposed to do damage there. And right there, it gave me the Furies. So I don't know what the interaction is, where sometimes it counts it as like a hit and does that i don't know it's really weird but i think the next special one you're gonna see where this clutch play comes in so wait is it this one okay so i've inflicted damage effect look i got the bar it's going down i wait do i fuck up um maybe it's the next one okay wait, wait, wait. it's the next special one right here inflicted damage effect it's almost like halfway gone he throws a special one i fuck it up and i go to three uh five of the tokens it's so, feels, and right, oh wait, just look, three bars of power, I throw my special one, I'm literally just trying to stall, because I know the second he gets to wound, he doesn't throw it there, miracle, second he gets to wounded, I'm like, please, when you get to the next state, it drains your power, and it does, and I was like, oh my god, that was so clutch, the fact that I, that I had the special one to stall for time, and the fact that he didn't throw it right away, beautiful, I got slapped up again, and, yeah, not the best of playing, but, I mean, when you have a rank three, six star, there are such tanks, it's unbelievable. But this is why I like Aegon for this fight. This, for, like, this reverse control phase, um, when you get to your fifth, um, like, thing done, what's the, the, like, the thing, the things he tells you to do, and you get the f near the fifth one, it gets close to the reverse controls. So what I like to do, and sometimes it'll be near a bar of power at that time. So what to do to avoid dying, which I see a lot of people, like, they can't, like, tell when the shift is going. When you get really close to switching from inverted to non-voting, what I do is just hold block, just take some block damage. And right here, I just backdashed. I, I knew he had a bar of power, but he's such a passive bitch sometimes. I'm like, fuck it. He, he's, he's, so, he's, so, 
he's just not gonna throw it. I just had a feeling like he's just not going. He never does when I want him to. So, whatever. I got struck in my block. So right here, I'm getting close to inverted. So you're gonna see me play kind of passive. So what happens is pretty clutch. Um, I start back block here, then I get to inverted. I get strike my block. I'm like, you know what? Let's not even try to worry about it. Sp dodging a special one. Let's just do it. This is why I love Aegon. He can do the entire inverted phase and just one wounded stay. Look at this. He gets right here. I launch special two. Is that four? I'm like, yes, that's an eight under one percent. And this is the phase that I hate the most. This is the phase that will kill you the most times. Not the inverted. Inverted isn't even that hard. This is what's hard. Because for some reason, I mean, as most people that have done this fight know, sometimes he just doesn't want to come at you. But I got him against the wall, and this is like the prime spot we're gonna be. Also, if you're wondering what path I took, I, I took the path in like the bottom that's like he has like 30% more attack, but your tokens give you like 50% more attack or something like that. But yeah, this was sick. So it was a six minute one shot, pretty close to the dot, not exactly. Um, right here, I don't know why I was just finishing the combo, but I guess I was, which might've added a few extra seconds, but I think, do you really count that? Once he gets to the one second wounded, I mean, the fight's pretty much over. You can't really lose. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, it was really sick doing this. Um, I was inspired to try seeing Legacy's rank three six star Captain Marvel. And I'm like, you know what? I got a rank three six star. So fuck it, let's give it a try. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.